Recently, DeepMind, the unit of Google that uh, is dedicated to developing AI-based uh, systems, announced that they have achieved a very high score in a standardized test for protein folding. Basically, they solved the 50-year-old problem of how to predict the shape of a protein molecule, starting from the amino acids that compose them. This is a very important achievement. You will hear it being labeled as the most important scientific result of the 21st century. Now, certainly there will be many other important scientific results during the 21st century. There is not one single revolution that we are seeing and going through. There are many. And it is likely that the thread within which this result sits is going to be exceptionally fertile and is going to impact the shape of the future in fundamental ways. Let's see why. The problem of protein folding has resisted for many decades and for a lot of people it was likely that it would not be solved for many more decades because of the exceptional complexity that it represents. DeepMind previously has built AI systems that were able to tackle complex problems such as prob programs that play chess or the game of Go, programs that after being given the rules for the game didn't even need in their later versions to refer to any database of uh, games played by humans to see what are good plays or bad plays and still very rapidly were able to achieve superhuman performance beating everyone. The current system that DeepMind designed tackles a problem of even larger complexity. Rather than the number of possible moves, what we are looking at is the number of possible shapes that a string of amino acids can take as they form a protein when it is released uh, through uh, the attractive forces between the parts of the molecule, it wraps itself up as uh, um, a string of elastic rather than a rope. When you release a rope, it stays at ease, but an elastic under tension, when you let it go, it will wrap itself up. Similarly, a protein uh, is not a linear string. When you let it go, it wraps itself up in a given shape. And it is the shape that defines its function, so knowing the shape is fundamental in order to decipher its function. And the number of possible shapes is enormous. If we gave um, a atom of the universe to represent a given possible shape, all the atoms of the universe would not be enough to enumerate the shapes of a single uh, protein. Uh, that theoretically the protein could take. A million universes was, were, would not be enough. A billion universes would not be enough. Actually, 
If we had a universe for each atom of our universe and we gave each of the atoms of that universe the role of a shape, of a possible shape of a protein, still it wouldn't be enough. It is a really large number of possibilities. Well, not all of those possibilities are equal. And actually, each protein folds in one given shape. So what DeepMind was able to do is to find um, a machine learning algorithm that could predict with an accuracy that exceeds 90%, 92, 95, 99% accuracy, what uh, the shape is. And based on the uh, way that the test is formulated, if you go above 90%, you are done. So now that we have this problem solved, what does it mean? Well, first of all, things are not going to change from one day to the next. The most important is, as it is sometimes the case, maybe always the case, is the mindset. Scientists will need to realize the power of this new tool and take full advantage of it. We are in a new era of AI-driven synthetic design of protein engineering. Because we are not only able to take an existing protein and say, oh, this is its sequence because we are able to you know, chop it up and uh, establish the, the sequence. And as a consequence, now we are able to say, okay, this is its shape. But we are also able to design new proteins and churn through thousands or millions of di different possible combinations until we find the particular shape that serves our purpose. For example, we could design very rapidly and reliably just using our computers without leaving the computers proteins that will block the ability of a virus to reproduce in a human cell. The difference from yesterday to today is radical because the ability and the confidence of this kind of design and the fact that we know with an extremely high certainty probability what uh, the shape of this synthetic design is, is going to be, our ability to create is vastly uh, accelerated. The science of synthetic biology just received a jolt thanks to the jolting nature of AI itself. And this is something that we are going to observe more and more. The different branches of knowledge are not isolated. And achievements in one, tools that help one, are constantly transplanted and fertilize approaches in another. In the next series of videos of the context, we are going to see additional examples of how AI-driven design is increasing the rate of acceleration in different fields and how this reinforces our jolting times. As you know, you can also acquire the mindset that is now required in order to understand what is going on in the world. 
at the Jolting Technologies courses, you can sign up, get your first month free, access to all the courses, and find out why and how artificial intelligence, quantum computing, blockchain, and other technologies are experiencing an increasing rate of acceleration, why they are jolting. Go to jolting.co and sign up today to the Jolting Technologies courses. Thank you very much and see you at the next episode of The Context.